Hello my friends and welcome back to three-legged dog yoga. I am Lindsay and today's class is a chill, full-bodied, super easygoing, um, stretchy flow. So nothing too crazy. Um, if you do need any props, by all means, I won't really be using any, but if you know you need them, then by all means, grab them. Um, other than that, let's get started. So let's just start in easy pose and cross leg. So however that looks for you. If you need anything to tuck under your knees, by all means. <sighs> and otherwise, let's just sit and close our eyes. Let's just start coming in to the self, into the practice. And let's sit up nice and tall. Let's ground the sit bones into the earth. Spine is nice and long. Chin is gently tucked and the crown of the head is lifted. Shoulders are gently rolled back. Eyes are closed or just gazing softly at a spot ahead of you. Let's just have some nice deep breaths here. Breathing in. And out. Side out. And inhale. And inhale. Beautiful. I'm just taking a moment here, trying to still the mind. Whatever came before or after, whatever comes after is not important. What's important is you here now on this mat. And I like to always take a moment of gratitude for coming to practice today, for showing up. Let's gently open the eyes. And we'll just start by dropping the chin and gently rolling the neck side to side. Nice and slow movements, just one side to the other. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Not too quickly, but it doesn't have to be at my speed. And maybe pausing anywhere you feel a little kink in the neck. And working with the breath. If it feels good for you, you can bring the head all the way around. Just be really gentle. <sighs> and then if you're going all the way around, just do one the other way. Beautiful. And then just pausing with the chin tucked. Check in with the shoulders. Make sure the back and the spine are nice and long. And just breathing here. If you'd like to add on, you can just drop the hands gently behind you, maybe about a hand's distance behind. Sort of slow, <clears throat> excuse me, sort of roll those shoulders down and then just let those hands relax. You can feel a nice stretch along the whole upper back, along the back of the neck. And then bringing the head back up through center, hands come to thighs. Let's drop our right hand to our right side. Inhale that left arm up and exhale over to the side. You can play with where your right hand is here. I'm not gonna put too much pressure on it. We're just very gentle practice today. Keep that left shoulder rolling up and back. <laughs> Keep that left hip ground into the floor, really pushing down through that left sit bone. <sighs> I'm breathing. And then inhale, come back up through center, switch sides, drop that left hand. Hmm. And again, checking in with that right shoulder, keeping it up nice and nice and rolled back. So we're not just not dropping that shoulder forward. We want to keep that whole side one line. And again, keeping that right sit bone glued to the floor. And one more breath here. And then inhale back up through center. Awesome. Let's come to cat cow. So just rolling over onto all fours. <clears throat> Hands underneath shoulders. Chewie wants to play with me here. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, toes are tucked. And then we're going to inhale, drop the chest, look up. 
And then exhale, round it all out. And again, inhale, draw up the chest. Exhale, round. Two more like that on your own breath. Drop in the chest on the inhale. Arching the back, look up. And then exhale, round it all out. And then finding the neutral spine, let's start with our right and we'll just drop that right foot back. So we're just stretching out through the calf muscle here. So try to keep a neutral spine so we're not rounding and we're not arching. It's a nice straight line. And then we're just gonna push out through our right heel. Hmm. Hips are nice and square. And breathing. And then release the right foot. We'll switch sides. Inhale, left foot back, and press out through that left heel. Hmm. Feeling the nice stra stra <laughs> the nice stretch into the calf and the back of the knee. I, think I was going to say straff there. Nice stretch into the calf. And then exhaling back through center. Beautiful. Let's inhale that right arm up nice and high. And then exhale, drop it underneath the left. Drop the shoulder to the floor. And I want you to check in with the hips here. Are we just falling over to the left side? Check in and let's try to keep those hips nice and square. And then bringing a, this really nice stretch into our shoulder and a very gentle twist as well. Stay two more breaths here. And then inhale back through center, finding that neutral spine. And then we'll once again lift that left arm up and switch sides. Exhale, arm comes underneath, maybe finding the floor with the cheek. If you have glasses on like I do, then <laughs> I just have to wiggle around a little bit to find a nice comfortable spot. Chewy just loves it when my hand is like this. He thinks it's a spot to chew. We'll stay one more breath. Hmm. And then inhale, come back up through center. Awesome. So we're gonna come into <laughs> puppy dog, aptly named, because there's a puppy here. Let's just walk our hands forward and keep our, try and keep our hips over our knees, but if you need to stretch back a little bit, that's also fine. And then we're just gonna sink the chest down. <sighs> as far as you need to go. We don't need to go too far. Really arching through that lower back. Keeping the upper back nice and strong. Hands are pressed firmly into the floor. Toes are tucked. And breathing, making sure the breath is staying nice and fluid. If we're straining, then just come out of it a little bit. And working with the breath, maybe going just a little bit deeper on the exhales. And then gently pressing through the hands, let's come back up to hands and knees. I'm just gonna shuffle forward a bit on my mat here. We're gonna come into a low lunge, so let's Plant that left knee. If you need to fold the mat over for uh, the knee's sake, then you can do that. If not, if your mat is thick enough or you're comfortable, then let's just bring that right leg forward. I'm going to try and keep our knee over our heel. Hands are pressed into the floor, so we're not just collapsing on the front here. We're just keeping that nice strong back, but with our hands as helpers. This, maybe you need blocks here, that's totally fine, or books, whatever you can find. And <sighs> breathing, untucking that toe if the knee is hurting a little bit, it just takes a little bit more pressure off of the knee. You can also press into that back foot and that also relieves a little bit of pressure. And then we'll inhale to half split. So just coming back. And here I want you to grab your thumb on your right hand and just press it into that hip, just to make sure our hip isn't coming forward. So keeping it nice and square, with our right 
and then finding your fold, keeping the chest pulling towards the shin, not rounding down. This is a nice dynamic stretch for that back of the leg. Again, you'll get into that back of the knee again, which is really nice. And then coming back forward, we'll just plant the hands and casually bring that leg back. Nothing too fancy. And we'll switch sides. So let's step that left leg through to the front. Again, checking in with that back knee if you need to roll the mat over or if it feels all right. And then left knee over left ankle. <sighs> Breathing, feeling a nice beautiful stretch on the hip flexors here. This is a really, really nice one if you've been sitting a lot in the daytime. It really kind of does the opposite. Gets this nice whole hip flexor, this whole front of the thigh open. And we'll stay for one more breath here. And then on the inhale, shifting the hips back. <clears throat> and again, finding that left thumb and just pressing into that left hip, making sure that our hips are staying nice and square and then just drawing that chest forward ever so gently to wherever you need to go. This can be up here where you could be folded in half. There's lots of, lots of wiggle room in this pose, so don't feel like you have to go too low. It's a very big uh, hamstring stretch. So. And then just rolling back forward. <clears throat> we'll just step that foot back and come on to the sit bones. And we'll come to you lying down. Maybe shuffle forward on your mat. <sighs> I'm gonna adjust my microphone so I can lie down. <laughs> Hi, Chewie. And here we're just gonna come into a half happy, <laughs> a half happy baby. So just you can keep your left leg, you can keep <laughs> your left leg, your left foot planted, and then just draw that right leg towards you. And as you do so, you can sort of start dropping that left leg. And then if you want to grab that with, if you have the space, you can grab the left, sorry, the right foot with the right hand and draw that knee outside and towards the floor. That's really nice for the groin, as well as the hamstring and just breathing here. You can sort of play with the foot as well a little bit. It gives. If you move the, the leg around a bit, you can see where it becomes a bit more dynamic for you, what might feel a little tighter, and kind of stay there and breathe. And then let's gently release that right foot and we'll come on to the left side. So same thing, start with a foot planted on the floor and then grab the foot or the back of the thigh and just get your nice base and then release that leg, that right leg down. And just drawing that foot, sorry, drawing that knee towards the floor. This is why we're called three-legged dog yoga, because there are always a bunch of dogs around. In this case, one, but he really wants to play. And breathing. Let's say one more breath. <laughs> and then release that foot down. Beautiful. So we're gonna come into our figure four. So right leg up, bend it and bring that ankle just underneath the left knee and then draw that left knee up. So this might be enough for some. That's great, stay here. If you wanna kind of play with the, the <clears throat> excuse me, the left leg, you're welcome to do so. I, I mean, you can do it with the leg up. I think it's a nicer stretch with it down. And then just grab behind the thigh, if that's accessible. And this pose is one of those poses that'll, for me anyway, varies very much day to day. Especially again, if we've been sitting a lot, that glute might be tight. You can just kind of gently rock side to side and breathe. And then release the foot down, we'll switch sides. So left foot comes up and then cross it over to the right and then inhale that leg up. And then we can kind of play with that right leg again, find what feels good. And then just gently breathing and on an inhale, kind of cut. <laughs> on the inhale, come out of it. And the exhale, draw it a bit closer.
<laughs> Beautiful, and releasing that side. And let's just rock ourselves up to seated. <sighs> and then coming back to cross-legged, but let's cross the opposite leg in front. So whichever one was there, whichever leg was in front before, let's just switch it up. <sighs> and let's just close our eyes one last time. Sitting up nice and tall and just taking a moment, another moment of gratitude for showing up today, for doing the work and for being here and for really taking care of yourself and your body. Beautiful. That's all for today's class. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Chewie says bye.